So we have a uh, been a mission have been tasked to reconnect America while BTs are on the loose and some sort of uh, group has our sister slash family let's go see about sorting that out then aren't we Here we go then, it is time. I am Lord Teamaker, welcome back with part two of Death Stranding. What if I don't want to control where BB's voice comes from? <laughs> See, I'm alright with it on normal at the moment. If I would choose to put it down or, you know, we'll, we'll see that at the time. Prepare to make a delivery. Examine the table. Uh, what's this? Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just a best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. Oh, okay. Like the Riddler. as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. Mm 
Okay. Hmm. Let him have a wee wee then. Let's Sam, go. Hartman here. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dooms and repatriates. When you relieve yourself, a certain amount of chiral matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as, in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. Let's get on with it. Well? Have you had a chance to think it over? Chock full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. I think it's like, um... So, unless the Fresh necessary data said. stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring chiral communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. 
These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. tell you that much. Sam, this is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cupid. Take on new requests, private locker, rest in private room. Okay, so orders available one. Right, what is this we need? Smart drug delivery, way station west. Okay, so if we find some smart drugs along the way, then we'll deliver them to there. Central Knot City brought deliveries to a standstill. Until now. Your cargo for this run is a batch of smart drugs. Oxytocin, to be precise. Oxytocin is effective at reducing stress. So much so that some folks call it a love or happy hormone. Once you've completed the job, connect the way station to the network using the Cupid. summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Did I not confirm it? That's confirming me it twice. The 
coaching. Sam, we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. That probably taking them all on, <laughs> which is probably not the smartest idea, but there you go. That. See, that's pressing options. Dismantle ladder. Oh no, I gotta hold it, okay. Okay. Remember, Sam, every part. 
parcel is a promise made to a person in need. And they're counting on you to deliver. Yeah, apparently they are. Air is too far to go across, bollocks. <laughs> we're landing, you know, we're, we're getting there. Is Captain Mob City? Hmm. Oh, there's Captain Not City, so I can take these back actually. Hmm. You know what? I will. I'll take these back. They weren't the parcels we were looking for, but... We are floating, we get points, right? This is one of the things I was like, hmm, <laughs> I might get bogged down with. You are a raider, legendary. Pixel pirate, thank you very much for the raid. Hey, dead man, welcome on in. Thank you very much, hello raiders. Where am I supposed to drop these off once I've got them? 
Oh, hi, dude. Back at the home terminus, isn't it? Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Yeah, make delivery. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy. You are a raider. Legendary. Bloody hell. <laughs> Double raid. It's Melsham Alpha. Did you finish it? Did you finish the game? It is done, yes. Welcome on in. <laughs> Faza. Dude, he's been put to bed. <laughs> you're just lacking. No eyes, dude. No eyes. You lack away. I really appreciate you going the extra mile. How's everyone doing tonight? How are you all doing? I just went full post from Pat here and made a delivery. What could be? <laughs> Stick drift because it's just going. <laughs> oh god, yeah, extra life for you guys. For me, in about an hour and a half, it will be starting my British Heart Foundation charity month. Thank you very much, Michael, for doing the for doing the shout out for him. If you're not already following either Pixel Pirate or Maelstrom Alpha, do so now. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm doing it in as a tribute to my friend Steve, who passed away uh, September seventh through heart issues. So I'm doing sort of like trophy hunting through PS4 and PS5 games over my normal streams and then going back to my backlog in December. All right, until next time. Good work. So if you wouldn't mind putting the uh, the link in the chat for us, please, Michael. Yeah, they don't... I don't know what's wrong with the shout-outs and shit at the moment. Really don't. Oh, wait, that wasn't me moving that stick. That stick... That, that camera just suddenly started moving on its own. I've got to put the uh, the charity link in the stream elements thing. Oh, I've got to do that tomorrow to make sure I've got two commands for it because the timers don't seem to be bloody working. They just don't seem to be bloody working at all. Right, so you are there, but we don't want to go there. We want to go here. That's where we want to go. But we need to find some drugs on the way. Have a pleasant journey. Which out of context seems very, very bad. <laughs> Keep on keeping on. Thank you, Michael. If you do want to donate, please. 
feel free to follow. You don't have to. Uh, I'm going to be donating 10p for every trophy achievement I, I get over the month, including the stuff offline that I may happen to pick up. And that will start from midnight tonight. So basically, if I overrun tonight on this and get a late trophy, that will go on to it. Ah, no worries, did. That's fine. So I'll put it in our command tomorrow. over there which is all nice and dandy oh, in that, that but I don't need to pick that up now am I moving in the right direction I am I am Climb, use some rope. But yeah, how is everybody else in this evening? I hope you're well. Be good. <laughs> so far, I am quite enjoying it. Um, I mean, we've already seen him nude. In normal read. <laughs> normal rebox I mean the uh, the carrying the body was a bit sort of whoa but I was kind of prepared for that because I'd heard about it from my podcast co-host so Oh, sweet. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't really need the, the private locker at the moment, though. Do need to find a cave or something though. teaser about <laughs>
it's not a bit too far away now. So yeah, just across those two, we should be on our way. Is there anything you can make to like a shelter against the rain? Mushrooms. <laughs> Breathe easy, Sam. You're clear of BG territory. The Death Stranding's to blame for all of this. The gazers, the fall of America, everything. It warped the world beyond recognition. Humanity had to scramble like rats fleeing a sinking ship. But there's nowhere else to go. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, we need to find another way. A way to overcome the BT. The Death Stranding, the whole damn mess. I forgot about the pissed mushrooms. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I was trying to get into a vehicle earlier when I was trying to move the body. So, yeah, if I travel in this direction, I've got it. Because there's no point trying to move the ladder over here. The ladders are too small. <laughs> I did! I forgot about the pissed mushrooms! Waiting for this is just like agonizing. But I suppose the making vehicles and stuff comes later in this, so. Uh, because we're what? Chap. Well, chapter episode two? I've probably got the smart drugs on us now. We're just heading towards that because that's probably what we were picked up in the first place. What game are you most looking forward to playing on Extra Life then? Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. Because no I should be around to lurk for a lot of that. Or the UCA. Or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Oh, yeah. 
give me those likes. I'm like DHL on that mission, considered it done. Oh yeah, yes, another awesome. Yes, I've heard a little bit about party animals. Very gang beasts like. I wanted to hopefully get the Robocop game as well soon. Because that looks amazing. I have plates up, yes. <laughs> Get that pizza out! <laughs> Bloody hell, that's a year already! Holy shit, that went fast! You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? <laughs> I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. It. Porters come through from time to time. Yeah, this shit's really gone through. The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were going to connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years. And they sent us one guy who was... Shit, shit, shit. Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well... Then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid. God, I'm patient, my child. Oh, look at his little face. <laughs> little face. A oh, trophy. New strand established. Oh, a post box. <laughs> New options have been added to uh, delivery terminals, fabricate equipment, make delivery. Uh, share locker, donate weapons and equipment. Oh. So that's new, that's, that's ladders and things that people have put there then. I take it. I like that. Connection to Capital Not City confirmed. It's really happening. <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Not City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a it's distribution a center internet. and a power station. As to which you should head for first. <laughs> Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo 
one that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please it's not sitting. It's like you bring the PlayStation to it. We can now play Hoonie Pops. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Uh, Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. So, we'll take on an order. What is that? Okay. You'll be delivering supplies for a Cairo printer. The distro center you're going to has one. First expedition set it up. On its own, it's no different from your run-of-the-mill 3D printer. Connected, though, it can utilize Cairo network data to reproduce all kinds of things. And you can imagine how handy that might be. Now, I know I don't need to tell you, but steer clear of any BTs you find out there. Void out's the last thing we need. Sam, it's Hartman. Void outs occur when the living of our world come into contact with beached things. The reaction is similar to what a physicist would call an annihilation, when a subatomic particle collides with its antiparticle. Alas, there ends our understanding. And there Why ends our science lesson. Transform into BTs? Why are void outs only triggered by human contact? And why are people like you able to return seemingly unscathed? No one knows. Yet it cannot be a coincidence that these phenomena were observed only after we discovered the beach and bridged this world and the next. Anyway, to reiterate, the only reliable means by which you can prevent a void out is to stay far, far away from BTs. Which means we're going to encounter them. Sam, if you're in the middle of a run and decide you need to secure your cargo temporarily or entrust it to another porter, you'll want to make use of a post box. In addition to cargo, post boxes can also be used to share gear and weapons, if you're so inclined. Now, I'm sure you've used them before, but humor me and build one. Maybe between Capital Knot and that way station. If you're lacking a PCC, I'm afraid you'll just have to scrounge it up yourself. Right, okay. So we have to build a post box. To build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. Well, let's build one, shall we? You can use that PCC to build a post box. How many do you require? Just the one. Okay, right, oh, okay. So I believe that's it. Raw materials, uh, attach the suit, confirm. I believe that's it then. What do you mean changes are we had done? Mm -hmm. Confirm that. Do I have to carry them all then, or is there any way I can actually come out of this without? <laughs> this 
it's like <laughs> you try to avoid set up any nuclear explosions all right <laughs> yeah sam assuming you've got your pcc in order head to the site i designated and build that post box would you you should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time weapons restrictions lifted What do you mean that bit there? <laughs> oh god, that must be hell on ya. Be hell on your arms, wouldn't it? I mean, you're almost looking like, a, like you've got a, a really bad co a cosplay of a robot for Halloween. <laughs> am I going towards it now? I am, yeah. Baby's blessing. Oh, no, 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 get up. a bit of falling over in the first stream, <laughs> I tell you that much. So, excuse me, can you build a post box? <laughs> Sam, I see you've arrived at the designated site. Good. When you're ready, there was one year we went to our PC. party. Use it to build a post box within the Which area is good I news specified. and bad. There was, there was a bit of bad after the day after, but it was fucking hilarious. Um, right, where's the post box? Here we go. No, hold it, no, hold L2 to prepare. But um, I went as Stewie Griffin. My friend who was running the party went as uh, SpongeBob SquarePants and picked us up in his car. So we both drove to his place in full costume. Another awesome <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
he fell over in Johnny Five, not alive. <laughs> exactly. Good work, Sam. That's a fine looking post box. If you access it and select share locker, you can share cargo and equipment with your fellow porters. Deposit a ladder and a climbing anchor, and I'm sure someone will eventually come along who could use it. Oh. If you've got enough supplies, why not leave some behind? Do right by others, they'll do right by you. Okay. So let's see what we can use then. Uh... Sam, you can use share lockers to exchange cargo with other porters. So let's put a ladder in. Uh, do we have an anchor? We don't. We don't have an anchor bit, but that's okay. We do have some bridge boots though, so we can move those to it. And there we go. Trophy! Giver of gifts. Aww. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind doing that. Right. Time for me to get out of this bloody rain and go over to here. But to find out what's over there, eh? Yeah, the trophies are popping, and we've still got about an hour to go before they start meaning money donations. <laughs> yeah, please no encounter or a beating, no. grab any of those yet we're going to the next point so <laughs> so like wait no you don't want to do this encounter do you but no not again <laughs> I mean, I've already had, like, two enforced encounters with them. want to pick that up because it's the gamer in me but also the streamer in me wants to continue story-wise otherwise it's going to be two hours of me just running backwards and forwards <laughs> well, I've already been doing that enough I think with Moon by Moon yeah, there'll be more things to pick up, exactly. And then I'll have, like, you know, leading up to the bloody moon. 
We're okay, we're okay. That's, that's where we're going then. Yeah, that's where we're going. Uh, that stuff there. One's for you. No, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. You're like landscapes, great, but for, for moving boxes around, eh, not so much. Uh, blood's alright, not going anemic yet, but I'll still take one of these witch tea grubs. Because you know. <laughs> Got away, but BTs are on the loose, aren't they? Oh shit! Mules gave you trouble, huh? Good thing it was raining. Even they know better than to mess with BTs. How far am I away now? That's right, so this is land of BT, right? It's pissing down getting doors. I need to find somewhere. That is that fine rain, you know, the one that soaks you through. or anything there. Wait, there's a locker there, but... Is that somewhere I can go? And that's just a locker. That's a post box. Ugh. Believe me, I want to get out of this rain. 
Yeah, so if I continue going this way, then we can cut across, straight across. Oh, if I slip by the BTs, that's even better. <laughs> well, spoke too soon, yep. <laughs> So we've got to cross over the over the river, so we might as well head that way now. to keep on this side of the river then until the BTs go. So far, I'm not saying a word. too fast. Something wrong, Sam? I don't know. Kid doesn't look so hot. Uh, nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. Oh, great. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. 
Hurry though. Lovely, kids offline. And how far are we away now? That not too far to be fair. <laughs> My child baby appears to be acting up. We'll give it a slap. Centers there. When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels, it triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. <laughs> Stand up, you bugger. Hey, we got there, right? <laughs> got away with that one. <laughs> Good lord we got away with that. <laughs> Is that a bike? I can't. Ooh. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges. I verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Away with that. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, time for a rest, Sam.
enjoyed so far making deliveries we're doing our job it's all awesome we're avoiding the B the bts because those bloody engineers they'll try and get your phone set up for everything Awesome. I like the awesome. An extra box of flavor, you see? Another trophy. Oh, building bridges. I'm liking this. This is what Michael was on about, though. Okay, it's time. Do you mind connecting us to the network? This guy looks a bit like Total Wolf. So well, he overheard us at Reds that time. New strand established. We got quite a bit of the US to go though. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. New interview data acquired. Mules and drone syndrome. Bridge babies and time fall. Let us grow old. Mail and data. New options been added to delivery terminals. Recycle. That's quite a few signs. <laughs> I mean, he wants me to see the sign. I get it. So I've done that, that's all that, that's good. That's right, share locker, private room. That's private locker, I want private room. Oh, my gosh, okay. First time I've said that, if it's for a game. <laughs> Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. And now you can upgrade it. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. 
These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. Babies need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. We're updating the, update the baby's is in progress. progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the steel mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Oh. And then? You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. <coughs> No, Sam, I wanted to go for a poo first. I mean, we can't wheel on mushrooms yet. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like doomed, Bridget said, doomed. extinction. <laughs> Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. Your Amazon package will arrive between 7.15 be and 9.15 p.m. That will be delivered by Sam. <laughs> Waiting for you. Come.
Come and find me. One man can only walk so far. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and so, and also my research as it happens. the old product placement there. <laughs> That's for shitting in the shower as well. Yep. Yeah. Researching. This is Hartman. Dead man will make your request to me as I oversee DC research. I'll be taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on the BT. You study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids. You see the hand, the hand placement there? There. Take a sample <laughs> with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three. time. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Exactly. <laughs> Lucy doesn't make his own beer with her. <laughs> Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Right. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, it's, it's such a pity they didn't have Bruce Willis voice him. OK. 
indicator. Now, where are you? I mean, let's use the sink because you know we might as well. Uh, perform action. What's what's that? It's, it's an R. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, it really was a missed opportunity, wasn't it? That this was before his declining health. Oh, that's not product placement in any way, shape or form, is it? So where's the terminal? Where are you? There's supposed to be a terminal in here. Oh, there it is up there. Up on the bloody wall. <laughs> Just went. Fuck it. <laughs> you have post. At least he's happy. But he was kind of happy. <laughs> Die hard man. <laughs> oh dear me. Ah, I see that's tips. Oh, I see. Well, where's the archives? They said archives. So, what music do we have that we can't play? A raw neighborhood. It's nice that we have a music player that we can't use, couldn't it? <laughs> I got down booze. <laughs> Would help the wall with the system for his piss for magic that they could also check him for free diabetic symptoms, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just 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 ease down on it, right? Because if you're gonna piss on mushrooms, that's gonna make them weird. <laughs> He goes up to the next centre to do the network and he goes, Hi, I'm Sam. I've got diabetes. <laughs> it's like his best Wilfred Brimley impression ever. 
Sam, we've received a distress call from the distro center staff. Mm -hmm. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. I see it. That orders, okay. Uh -huh. So I'll go to the tender when we're ready. <laughs> That's why the BTs are around. The BTs are having DTs. She finds out that at the end of this, this is all a dream. That Norman Reedus is off his tits on <laughs> magic mushroom bits. Sam, out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that, something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashback, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal and review Jump the list of orders. running around in uneven terrain in a completely watertight suit. Absolutely. <laughs> that was my view. <laughs> yeah, he's the one. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we have known some of the shit that I hit out. Could you just come out of this? I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Oh, right. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. I mean, are you going to, you know, give us a gun for this? It did, yes. It was, well, it was muted on Twitch. So I processed it over to YouTube and that seems to be okay. But yeah, it did. Oh yeah. I was kind of expecting it though, to be fair. But you know what? As long as we get to see it, hear it live, fuck them. <laughs> Heads 
up, Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught the porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. It's not as if I can get any money for it. Us our property back. Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Okay, we will select multiple. What's this? Sam, the area around that distro center has produced a significant quantity of chiral crystals. Matter of fact, that's where the chirelium used in your Cupid's internal circuitry came from. They have a range of applications, including equipment fabrication. Bottom line, they're a valuable resource and one you'll want to make the most of. I'll let Hartman explain in more detail, but chiral crystals don't exactly grow on trees. If you see any deposits, you should go out of your way to gather them, especially since folks with dunes are the only ones that can, provided they have the necessary equipment, that is. I'll see that it's added to your supplies for this order. Oh, Sam, okay. It's Hartman. Following the discovery of the beach, we not only began to observe heretofore unseen phenomena, but a new type of matter, Chirelium. I say new, but it has doubtlessly existed since the dawn of the universe. We believe it was always there, like dark matter and certain particles, ever present, yet overlooked because we lacked the capacity to see it. Chirelium appears to be unbound by the constraints of physics as we understand them. It can stop time or move contrary to it. On occasion, it even defies gravity. In practical terms, it can stop or even reverse time and cause its objects to float. A special cylindrical case is required to collect and store it. Suffice it to say, the procurement of samples is vital to our ongoing research. So I think we may go pick those up first. Yes. <laughs> It's a weird one, isn't it? That they did, they do this shit, they pull this shit. But again, it's an archaic, it's archaic laws that are no longer suitable from the internet edge because the laws can't differentiate between someone just having it playing in the background of what they're doing, added a someone trying to gain to money from it. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. Mm. Never know when you'll need to recon an area. Bowie. Bowie from Metal Gear Solid 5. There's the um, the GTA games, uh, you know, Rockstar is another one as well. Yeah, it was just oh, that was a headache you didn't need. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests. Provide secure storage for any crystals you gather. <laughs> A half finished game. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. So what Got all that? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Fill <laughs> <laughs> So we might as well go get the crystals first. I'll do the mules when we come back to the game. Keep on keeping on. 
whether it's during the charity month or afterwards, we'll find out. Name Sam. Sam. Hmm. Well, we're not far away from that, so we just keep going. One of the most recent Life is Strange game, which has licensed music and there's a scene where a couple of characters are playing air guitar to a King's Leon song. <sighs> which one was it? Mafia 3 has one of the best examples of doing that, a streamer mode. I was able to hear it by the TV. You guys weren't when they were streaming. It was great because I was, I was like, I mean, you know, bopping away and people were like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Sam, the Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Even use of the crystals. Almost there. BCC <sighs> uh, level one, BCC level one. Because we were hearing it from the TV, it's great. Can't this thing work any faster? Construction complete. Right, so use options and select. All right, okay. Ah, uh -huh, see, I thought they were. Like, how many do we need? Did you say how many we needed? I want it though. Need one the first pickup was like 23. Oh. Ah. So I can take these back then. <laughs> so I did that really quickly. Adventure right there, then. <laughs> it's like, mate, how many do you want? <laughs> I 
so somebody must be pissing around here because there's a load of wasn't it? <laughs> Begin scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying you see when if you pick the mushrooms though, is that taking the piss? Chiral crystal deliveries are a little different from usual. The process is pretty simple though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any chiral crystals you're carrying. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Nothing close. Wait, what? Oh, right, okay. Do I go for recycle them then? Is that what I need to do? Let's recycle 25 of them then. See that that that's the, that's the thing. I had the After promise to get. Okay, we'll try and get you one. These crystals we have only to in places with elevated chiralian levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network has something to do with it. Not a bad haul. Plenty enough for research. We'll take good care of it. Didn't get that far. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, trophy. Container repair spray. Is that if we've been out in the rain too long then? Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Oh. Well. That's a B. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Oh, another trophy, that custom kit. New hologram data, eh? We can customize structures now, can we? <laughs> we got bigger bandwidth, woo! And another trophy. <laughs> well connected. <gasps> ah, lovely. See, these are early. Ah, 
find the double trophy. You can now carry more cargo. Very cool. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Now what are you giving us? That's container repair oh, yeah. spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Oh, I thank you. Lovely. Be seen. There is a correlation between elevated Corellian levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, Must be, be sure to rest. collect it. You'll be well rewarded. <laughs> if you come into more chiral <laughs> crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is, can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. I might as well give him the rest of them then. Right, uh... <laughs> Resins, metals, touch the suit, no. Fuck it, might as well give him the rest. I'm happy with that. That's a, that's a nice little bonus, isn't it? Fabricate then. Nothing because we got to go get the print a bit, haven't we? Right. I think we'll do that next Thank time. You for your Three minutes to midnight. So that'll be a cracking place to finish up. completed so thank you very very much for joining us tonight thank you for the raids tonight they were really 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 helpful and good thank you very much for that so t thursday thursday when we start uh on thursday afternoon it will be the start of our november streams of trophy hunting and it'll be starting with persona 5 dancing in the sun in the moonlight it's either dancing in the moonlight or sunlight. It's one of those dancey games. And where it will take us, I don't know. If you want to help out, there was a link in the chat, which I will be posting on the Thursday ones. And then don't forget on Friday, the Vikings of Twitch are doing Extra Life. So if, if you don't want to donate to the British Art Foundation, but you do want to donate to Extra Life, feel free. Go for it, because both charities are worth your time and they are worth your money because they help a lot of people. So, saying that, I'm going to head off now because, you know, it's a bit late. It's a bit late. We're not going to do a raid tonight, but I will raid if I'm about on Thursday and Sunday. So I'll see you guys then for the trophies. Good night.